Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to It's Pooja Mahapatra and finally I'm so glad I'm back after my examination, university professional examination. Yeah, I had my first year professional examination finally and after so long I'm like sitting here in front of you in this space after so 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 long and I'm really very very excited to get back into the same way I used to be and in today's video as you all have requested like a ton of messages i have like received and it was all about the please share what's in your bag because our first year is going to start very soon and we don't want to miss anything and for that reason in today's video as the thumbnail suggests what's in my bag so without further ado let's get started so first thing first this is my bag yeah I have used this bag entirely in my first year and I'm gonna use this bag in my second year as well and if my luck is good and if it is not turned I'm gonna use it throughout my third year final year internship I don't know but I really love this bag it is really really comfortable and I bought this bag back then when I was admitted in my college so the first thing that I had was a file yeah this is my first year file and I had Firstly, I had my vaccination certificate. So you have to carry it guys. So like the first dose, second dose or the booster dose, if you have that, you know, I had my booster dose. So you have to carry that. It is very important. And uh, when I was admitted in 2021, COVID was still at its peak. So yeah, I had to carry a vaccine report. Also my Aadhaar card, Xerox, because I thought that if it would be required, like I don't know, Aadhaar card is required everywhere. So I had a Xerox of that also one thing that i did that after getting my library card sanctioned i had to like keep it somewhere otherwise you will like lost it somewhere there are two things one is for issuing the books another is like for sitting and reading for two purposes so i had to keep that i kept it on my file so this is like a transparent file like you will see this kind of things okay so it is transparent so you, will, you can keep it and it will not be like crumpled okay it will be fully intact so these files are really helpful for students like us who travels a lot and uh, for hostelers it's not really important because they can just rush and then carry it out but for day scholars like us we have to like my house is literally far my college is in this area and my house is in this area like north pole south pole is that kind of inconvenience so i liked to carry every single document so that i would not be in a rush or panicked in the first day of my dental school so of course i had all those things kept so if there are some things that uh, your college has suggested you to bring please uh, keep it in an intact way you know presentation of course it always matters so it should not be crumpled or like that or stained just keep it in a good format so that whenever they will ask you for you can just easily give them. then the next thing was very exciting for me but i'm literally very sorry to say you but the thing is the first day of college is literally boring nothing really happens yeah you meet your friends your batchmates and you see your college the ambience and everything else apart from this it's really boring you know i thought like something will happen in my first day and i have my first day vlog you can check that out the first video i had put in this channel and literally it it had reached a lot many views i had never expected and thank you for that but uh, let's get to the point the thing is notebook so just go with one notebook and uh, then you can write whatever you want if there is any kind of lecture or if the teacher says you something you can just write it down and the next day maybe something else will happen so you write down that and the next day maybe another thing will happen so you write down that as well so without getting much more clumsy it's better to have one notebook for first two three months i guess then you will get an idea and maybe you will be able to choose how do you want to make notes? so the next thing is water bottle of course it's summer time right now and trust me for that reason uh, like my friends know i love having water you know and I, I don't like dehydration at all you know it's very important for your skin as well you know i take care of my skin i use only like normal creams that are available don't really like to use cosmetics for everyday purpose not at all 
so for that reason water is very important because you need to study hard you need to go you need to like walk and uh, that takes a lot a hell lot of energy so you need to be hydrated so that you can study you can have fun as i had in my first year so for that reason please keep your water bottle filled up and so don't forget to have water it's a uh, advice you know don't just don't skip having water it will lead you to several problems which i don't want go water next thing is keep a chocolate bar or almonds so i keep a cadbury in my bag always all the time because you never know when you are hungry and maybe you are in certain point of time when you're feeling very hungry and dehydrated and you need some sugar so of course that will give you carb and chocolate always saves life you are traveling like me i am traveling so i need to take care of certain things about my health <clears throat> so for that reason chocolate is a very good thing to keep it is convenient you will find it in any store so keep a small bar of chocolate you never know when you need next it. thing is a extra mask and a hair cap so a hair cap is very important very very important for preclinical prosthodontics we are not at all allowed like opening our hairs and going or even if we have clipped our hairs girls boys doesn't matter you are not allowed without this cap at least my college has this rule we have to wear head caps because there are instruments that are gonna spoil your hair burn your hair <laughs> you know there are cases like that so of course a hair cap extra hair cap doesn't hurt you an extra mask doesn't hurt you so please keep that things in your bag so that in emergency situation you can just grab it the next thing is a pencil box or a stationary box whatever you call it call it so this is mine and i have kept my pens or scales or whatever like pencils whatever you like to carry doesn't matter the next thing is a purse so i have this purse it's literally very convenient small and i keep all my notes over here and this is a small bag that i found inside of the train and uh, i literally loved it. it 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 costed around like 30 rupees i guess but it's really really pretty and tiny and i have all my yeah i have all my coins in there because you know uh while traveling you need 2 rupees 1 rupee and that's really inconvenient for like i don't uh, like to talk much when i'm traveling that bhaiya i don't have that amount of money can you please give me some chuttas and something and he says me back that i don't have chuttas so uh, i don't like that so i keep a pouch so that i can keep the coins so whenever i like if it's 12 rupees i have 10 plus 2 rupees that's it that's done i'm done <laughs> and yeah so for that reason i keep two purses one is for coin and one is for notes do whatever you like boys i think they have only one purse that's enough but for girls i'm saying this because you know we like to be organized next thing is i have mentioned it on my other videos it's like eight pro tips i guess there i have mentioned about the locker system that not only md student but also undergraduates are allowed to have lockers so you can talk to the higher authority to the office and that's my key so i keep my key with inside my bag so that whenever i require my things that is inside my locker I just go there get it and that's my key if you're traveling you have no idea what things can happen i am very conscious about my shoes i don't like unclean shoes untidy shoes so i always carry a tiny twinny cloth so that if it is stained i'm going to remove it no matter what i'm really very conscious about that also sometimes you you like there are times when you need something to just do like this thing so i keep an extra thing for my shoes sometimes it's raining also feet gets wet and for that reason i always keep that because kolkata the weather here is i don't know sometimes it's raining sometimes it's sunny sometimes it's wintry sometimes it's summer i have no idea what's happening with this weather here so i always keep calm and try to be organized so that in difficult times i'm prepared Okay so girls keep an extra clutch inside your bag because there are times when you will forget to tie your hairs for the head cap that happened in first year my friends they were literally like tying their hairs with the rubber band then we were told to wear the head caps and if you have long hairs like me you must have otherwise you can't tie it so keep an extra 
clutch inside your bag that will not harm you you can just keep it for emergency purpose the next thing is keep an plaster with you because sometimes you get hurt by your shoes it happened to me you know i was walking and suddenly my ankle was so much hurting and then i found out that there were some kind of scratches for the shoes i don't know how it got but yeah that was there and in pcp you will get cut a lot of time for that you can also keep a moisturizer or a borolin and uh, a, pla a liquid plaster that will help you to heal the wound because after that you had your classes so take care of yourself i also like to keep a moisturizer and a comb because there are a lot of times when after classes we hang out we go to a cafe or we don't know or we had that kind of ideas in our mind because we are in the we were in the first year sorry <laughs> we were in the first year and that was a very fun time so for that reason a comb is really helpful for girls with long hairs because you have your style done a moisturizer if you are i don't know i like moisturizer if you don't want you don't need to but i like it i don't like my hands dry so for using like all the hand washes yeah the next thing is hand wash keep on hand wash because you are gonna do all your works and it's good to wash your hands because you know you are in the clinic you are in the hospital basically and you are doing work so clean your hands before eating and then uh, i don't like my hands to be dried fully so i like moisturizer for that reason i'm carrying moisturizer if you don't want to just don't that's me i'm crazy i know also after your classes get started for anatomy physiology you need to have the forceps and the gloves you know for touching all the organs the visceras that are and forceps for the dead body so after my classes were started i always kept these things inside so that i can just use them whenever there is a class so yeah these are the last two things after your classes get fully fledged on you can have these things inside your bag and yeah i think that was it also i keep another thing which most likely none of my friends really keep it until it is rainy season yeah that's an umbrella okay so my college it's huge campus and the sunlight is really really harsh and the rain it is also harsh so i don't forget to have an umbrella inside my bag because you know yeah i'm conscious so i keep an umbrella as well so if you like to have an umbrella for being safe okay you don't need to if you want you can okay so that's my what's in my bag so basically i'm talking about myself because i'm talking about what's in my bag so of course it's my so whatever you choose you like just keep it in your bag take a cat a dog inside your bag no that was a joke please don't do that i don't know what will happen don't carry your cat or any kind of pet inside your bag okay so that was it i hope you find this video helpful and if you do do let me know in the comment section below which one did you like really really helpful and i will see you guys in my next vlog from 3rd march my second year is going to start and new vlogs are coming and uh, i wish you a very very prosperous and great first year ahead to people who are watching and are senior to me and i'm very very thankful for subscribing for supporting me so much and thank you so much i will see you in the next video until then take care bye bye one more thing when you get into your college you will get your white coat so of course carry that with you and also you need to have your stethoscope and uh, bp measuring machine because when your physiology class starts and your college id when it will be given to you you also have to carry the tooth set for your dental anatomy classes when there will be tooth identification and also for anatomy you will be asked to carry the bone parts according to the schedule